Okay. Uh, thanks very much for joining uh, Grassroots Boxing. Yeah, really, just a quick one. Um, obviously, it's the second season tonight. Just tell us a little bit um, about how you actually originally got involved in this. Um, um, I was approached by Ben Shalom, who's a young entrepreneur and creator of, the, of Ultimate Boxer, and I like the concept. I like the, the fact that it creates opportunities for young fighters who may have flown under the cracks and may not have been noticed by the big promoters. You know, Some of them may have talent, some of them may not have talent, but this kind of gives them a chance to show what they do have. And uh, you know, Based on our first uh, our, our first go-around with Ultimate Boxer, I felt like Drew Brown was a real revelation mm -hmm. for uh, for everyone uh, who watched the show, watched him, and I uh, felt like he got a lot of notoriety that he may probably have deserved because you know he showed he can fight on a higher level than people even may have expected you know so I think that's really it's all about uh, giving out giving opportunities to these uh, young fighters who you know have this dream in their eyes just like the main prospects have this dream in their eyes but sometimes they just fall through the cracks and it doesn't mean doesn't necessarily mean that they should fall through the cracks sometimes mm. it does but this kind of gives them that other chance to really show themselves that there is anything they should show because uh, that's the thing there's a lot of uh, we attend a lot of small hall shows and it's it's um, this has really given the opportunity to a lot of them because um, yeah. It's on TV. Um. It gives them television exposure at a point where they're probably not getting it because they don't have the connections. Yeah. It gives them a, a, a high level of competition because they're fighting winning records at a time of their career where a lot of fighters aren't. So you come out and you win a tournament like this, uh, it kind of gives you the notoriety. Or even show yourself to do well in a tournament like this, it gives you notoriety that you probably didn't have before the tournament started. Absolutely. It's, it's obviously it's on Spike, Spike TV. Um, it gives a I thought it was going to go. Okay, sorry. Uh, obviously, it's on a Spike TV, but I mean, the, the, the good thing is, um, as we said, it, it gives it gives the boxers a, a bit of um, uh, coverage. But in the actual um, event itself, do you think it favours someone that's like uh, we've got someone that's like 17 and two? Do you think it favours someone that's like had a good amateur career? Yeah. Cause they're used to the like the three rounders, or do you think it's? Uh, I, think, I think it might favour somebody who just turned pro instead. You know, a yeah. guy, a guy with 20 pro fights may already have kind of set his standard to the pace of a fight being differently than or, uh, uh, than, it, than he was when he was an amateur. Yeah. While an amateur fight, you know, an amateur we fighter will kind of be more used to the pace of this kind of thing, you know, because it's a faster pace, it's a shorter fight. So, you know, it's, it's interesting, but you, you've got no time to set anything up. You've got to kind of make things work and create things right yeah. away. I, I know you probably don't want to make too many predictions, but if you, if you had to, had to favor someone tonight on... I won't make many predictions because the first... The first go around told, taught me that you can't really make predictions. You know, we had uh, some high seeds and, and the first uh, our first ultimate boxer. Neither of them even made the finals. So you know, I think uh, I think the, the that's the beauty of a tournament like this. It, it gives you revelations about certain fighters you may not have expected. You know, and some good, some bad. And it's a nice little prize money as well, isn't it? Because uh, yeah. like I said, it's fighting on some of these small hall shows. It's really about like, yeah, like course. ticket sellers and what have you. And then not only does that, it gives us some uh, opportunity for uh, um, make a little bit more money than they're used to. Absolutely. Yeah. And that, who knows, you know, you see what happens, someone could get spotted and there you go. Um, obviously, listen, I know you're tired and we we'll probably want to go, but uh, thank you very much for just giving us a couple of minutes of your time and I appreciate that, so thank you very much. Cheers.